Hi, welcome to J Man Skincare. Today, this video is going to go a little bit more in depth. We're going to get to the nitty gritty and the scientific part of aging. What I want to go over to with you is fascia. I've spent a career training estheticians all over the world a technique called the fascial contouring massage. Fascia is something just recently discussed in aesthetics and in, and in science of aging. So let me show you a little bit how it works. This is a diagram of the muscles in the face. You can see that all these different muscles create various facial expressions. Over time, some facial expressions get deeper and more exaggerated, and this is due to muscle development or fascial development. Skin conditions or anatomical conditions such as TMJ, cervical vertebrae injury, whiplash, um, constantly texting on our phones today, all of these attribute to how we age and how our face shapes as we age. Fascia, something that we're talking about more and more, runs all the way over the face. So while you see these individual muscles, fascia covers all of this in a multi-directional cobweb way. When the fascia gets restricted and the skin gets thinner, that's how wrinkles are created. That's how we start to get trapped limp or our face feels puffy or our eyes get puffy. The fascial contouring massage helps to release that. It helps to restore all the fluid and all of the, the circulation and the microcirculation of the skin and tissues. We created the Anma for a home treatment. So after you get a facial contouring massage with your esthetician, you can use the Anma. The Anma is Japanese for massage and it's very simple to use. You can use it in your car, in the shower, you can use it um, after you put on your skincare, and the treatment is very, very simple. I'll show you how to do it. So let's look at the diagram really quickly. You can see the number two. That would be one of your second movements that you do. First is washing and cleansing the face, moisturizing. The second is working the back and the occipital. You just simply take the Anma and start to loosen up the occipital area. By doing this, you start to get the synovial fluids and the cervical vertebrae moving. And then you start to move down to the neck, which would be your third, your third movement. You slowly progress to the front and you start working the platysma. When you start warming up the platysma, this releases all the tissues that pull the face down. And many times we get jowls because we have a tight neck and occipital area. So just by working the neck and the back, you can start to release the lymphatic flow and make a change in the jowl area. As we take the platysma up under the chin, we start to work the jawline. And we go all the way up into the temple area just working the outside of the face. You'll start to feel about now your tissues warming up and you may see a remarkable difference in the color of flushing or the redness. Come back to the center of the jaw and for those of you who have TMJ, you may spend more time underneath the cheekbone into the masseter area. That would be right in this 5-8 area. You can really start to work there. Because fascia runs up and down vertically, imagine just a cobweb of tissues all over your face. And the lighter you go, the deeper you will get. As you continue to go, work right over the eyebrow into the frontalis section. You have 11, 10, and around the eye, working out all of the, the lines. Now one thing that people don't realize is the forehead muscles start 
right above the eye, but go all the way down to number two. That's called the frontalis. And the belly of the frontalis is right above. So if you have heavy forehead lines, go right in your scalp and work the scalp. If you have a tight jaw, go ahead and work your frontalis because all of that works. Very rarely do we give ourselves a deep scalp massage. With the Anma, you really can get in there and release and you'll start to notice a natural facelift. One of the questions I get is how often do I do this? It's a massage, so you can't overdo it. A um, Couple things you might notice is if you're really tight and your tissues are very tight or you're very lymphy, meaning puffy, you may have some redness or it may even have an appearance that you've bruised yourself or broken capillaries. This will go away within a day. You haven't bruised yourself. It's something completely different. You're actually bringing tissue to the blood in the area that needs it the most. So give it a shot. I have a diagram of this underneath for you to download and take a look. If you like this channel or you learn something, please subscribe. We'll always have something really interesting and simple from quick tips that you can do at home or maybe the latest technologies that you should check out at your, at your local um, dermatologist or plastic surgeon. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, please list it below or shoot me an email at jane.man at mac.com. And until next time, have a great day.